right guys, thanks for clicking on the video. Uh, today we're at the BT Telephone Exchange in Eastbourne. This building's been abandoned for quite a few years. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, give the video a like, leave a comment below if you used to work here. Um, if you're just curious to see what it's like inside, then obviously I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get on with the explore. Guys, we've made it inside. This is what we're greeted with straight away. Turn my camera off, uh, torch off for a minute. Just turn it on when it, as and when needed. Toilets in there. Can't believe how big these uh, rooms are. Big tall ceilings in here. Stupid door. <laughs> this is a huge room, this one. I don't know what was in each room, so it was a telephone exchange. So whether it was all full of computers in here. But then these are like a big sliding doors here. I wonder what this area was for. Well, I wonder if this was like a car park area for vans. They, so they've got sliding doors here and there. Being telephone exchange, I imagine they would have had work vans. So I'm guessing it would have been in here, like a storage area. But strange how there's no other stairs here, it's just empty. I mean, there's a fire escape set of stairs on that side of the building, but there's nothing on the inside. I'm gonna. Head back, there was another set of stairs over this side. I mean, it's quite a tall building, this. I'm going to head on up. Hey, somebody's pulled the uh, fire hose out everywhere. Here. 
Oh, ich habe eine Kappe. A lot of people walking past. I don't know if we've got Shane coming in here. Hmm. Must have been like another little storage area, save with like a slidey door on the side there. It must all be. Storage parts. It's in here. Oh, not a lot really. Right. So it goes up quite a long way. It's quite a tall building. So it's going to be interesting to see what it's like on the top. I don't know where Lewis has got to. I can hear a lot of pigeons now. mess in here. Cool. Jesus. This is a very old lift here. Emergency telephone inside that black box there. That's really old. I'm not gonna step inside that though, just in case. I wonder if these were just like storage rooms, these bits. Then in here you would have had like the main part for the exchange with all the panels and switch switchboards. Very decaying inside this building. There's a lot of noise outside there. I don't know how long this place has been abandoned for, but 
He's completely been stripped and smashed up by people. Be interesting if you used to work here. Like if you if you used to work here, please leave a comment below on what the place was like on each room if you can, because that'd be quite interesting. Help me out a little bit as well on understanding this layout. And of course, anybody else who's watching. That's still ticking, whoever that is. Still ticking. I've no idea what floor we're actually on, I think. I don't know if it's the third, fl uh, third floor up from the ground, or second floor up from the ground, I mean. Whether that storage area counts as a floor. But nearly every single window here has been smashed by people. It's a nice solid concrete based building. Is there one more floor, I think, after this? Yeah. I was thinking that when we come in. Thinking that house looks a bit... A bit neglected. Literally just, just a sink. Hmm. I wonder what was in this bit then. Plugs in there and then door off. Comes round to that side. Wonder if it was lockers in there. It does say about lockers and storage room. Side there. Strange. Yeah, let's have a look in here. Ah. It's been such a shame everything's been smashed up. Oh, showers. So I thought these would have been toilet cubicles. Yeah, there's sh sh two showers there. Yeah. Ah. So did I at first, but these ones are the toilet mm. cubicles. So it is a nice, uh, it's a nice view from here. can see for quite a long way and just here is the old abandoned uh, pumping station which is 
going to be in a video as well. <laughs> so yeah, check out the channel for that one. Let's go on with the rest of the exploring this building. Yeah, it's nice isn't it? Yeah? That'll be interesting to see what's up there. Nothing. So even if I did climb up this and then climbed on there, I ain't going to get through that. Up onto the roof. Ah! I will go up that in a minute though. That might lead up to the roof. There is daylight up there. It's got a nice little view of Eastbourne though. And the downs in the background. Yeah, it seems a bit eerie up the top here. Don't particularly want these doors to close on me because the handles are absolutely covered in bird, bird crap. Someone's done a number on this door. Yeah, shame it's very empty, but the state of this building isn't very good. I mean, they could easily have turned this into something else and made use of this building many years ago. I think that's locked. This room's different. It's very 80s, 70s or 80s, this room with all the wood on the wall. What's it sound there? You can see that just now. Yeah, it's not very good. Yeah, Let's have a look at the rest of this building again. <clears throat> Quite a few rooms up the top here. Well, this carpet is so green. It's all mould and moss and algae. Look at that. Yeah, plant is growing through the ceiling. What a nice looking plant that, to be fair. Cool in here. So nature is literally taking over the top half of this building. Really nice. In the corner here, I'm hoping these rooms are okay, so it does seem like a concrete based building. I 
don't think they're called British Telecom anymore. I know they go by the word BT. I've not actually seen the word Telecom on anything for God knows how long. Seems very echoey inside this building as well. Nice plants growing in here, isn't it? Mm. Wow, state of this. I'm gonna adventure to the roof. Yeah, be careful of that, because that is not gonna be solid up there. Well, the stairs are all up. Yeah, the stairs are okay, but um, the actual roof itself, you've got to be careful, because I think that's gonna be soft. It looks like somebody's been squatting in here. Poor thing. It's all the kitchen area here then. Yeah, it looks like somebody's been squatting inside this bit. Quite a few beer cans and then like food and stuff down here. Strange place to have steps as well. Well, leading to the top wind, top floor window. That's very strange. Obviously, I couldn't lift anything in or out of them windows. Maybe that noise is Lewis. <laughs> If not, we've got company inside the building. So I was hoping it would be more full up with bits and bobs like this still. I don't know if they would have had their curtains on every window like that. Strange how this door here has got a lock on it as well. Two locks. Oh, obviously, the men's toilets were down the other side. Look how old that is. This would have been the other fire. There's another set of staircases down on the outside on there, like a fire escape one. But it's just showing you how there's just one main set inside with a building this tall. And 
just here about the roof. See if we can access the roof. Did you have any luck? You can get up there. Well, I didn't really go onto the roof with it, so yeah. you can get the camera out, but that's all I've done. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to stand on the roof, because that is going to cut you fall through that, by the looks I, of it. I, I didn't do that. I was going down there taking pictures. Yeah. Quite a draft coming down here. I've got to try and come up here without holding on to anything. This is so steep. That's right, it's concrete base here. Yeah. And this is the so lift motors and everything. Let's have a look out here. I'm not going to stand on there, so the plants have uh, all come, uh, gone through the roof, which kind of says to me that the whole roofing area there is so soft. over this direction, the abandoned Fort Fun, which I went to, which is on my YouTube channel. Um, it's not abandoned anymore now, I'm literally in the phase of redoing it up. So, hopefully that will reopen very soon. But you get to see the condition of the parking area outside. This place here is absolutely trashed. I'm going to head down and get my uh, photos, I think. Alright well, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little explore. I know there's not much here and most of it has been sort of trashed. But I hope you find it interesting. If, I mean, if you live in the area and you've seen this building and wondered what it's like inside, you've now seen what it's like. So I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully it sort of cured your curiosity on it. And if so, if you worked here, leave a comment below and let people see, like, read what it was like each room I went in, say what was in there, what your experiences were, etc. Um, if you're new, don't, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up as well. I'll see you guys again on another explore. Thank you for watching.